it is a liver enzyme it is measured to assess liver injury extent of liver injury SGOT is nowadays called AST the full form of SGOT is serum glutamic oxaloacetic transaminase and AST is serum aspartate amino transferase and the normal value is 8 to 45 unit per liter AST is present in both cytosol and mitochondria in liver cell and what is SGPT it is a serum glutamic pyruvic transaminase and nowadays it is called ALT that is alanine amino transferase normal level is 6 to 56 unit per liter and besides this there are other enzymes such as ALP that is alkaline phosphatase normal value is 30 to 120 unit per liter GGT that is gamma glutamyl transferase 5 to 40 unit per liter normal value and 5 prime nucleotides that is 5 prime NP its normal value is 2 to 17 unit per liter when there is liver cell damage or uh, damage to hepatocytes both AST and ALT rises in blood and this rise is greater than 15 times uh, than the normal value it is seen in acute viral hepatitis any toxin induced hepatocellular damage mostly caused by carbon tetrafluoride CCL4 and one interesting point here to note is both AST and ALT rises in blood even before the clinical appearance of jaundice and moderate elevations of ALT and AST that is greater than five times of normal value it is seen in chronic hepatitis autoimmune hepatitis alcoholic hepatitis and acute biliary tract obstruction and another enzyme is there that is known as alkaline phosphatase a normal value is 30 to 120 units per liter it is distributed in liver bone kidney intestine placenta increased alkaline phosphatase is seen in cholestasis when there is a stasis in the flow of bile since there are many other sources of alkaline phosphatase there are uh, other than liver we have to measure serum ggt and 5 prime nt 5 prime nucleotides both GGT and 5 prime NT along with alkaline phosphatase seen increased in uh, cholestasis due to different reasons. The reasons may be cancer in head of pancreas, may be stored in common bile duct, there may be stricture in the bile duct, primary biliary cirrhosis and uh, last but not the least primary sclerosing cholangitis. Thank you.